Wallet multi-tools are my weird obsession. I've made a few in the past, but some of them were... not so good. But I've learnt a lot since these early projects, so follow along as I learn from my mistakes and try to fix my worst trend. I'm no stranger to carrying more than average in my pockets, but there's a time and a place for everything. A folding knife when I'm camping isn't going to draw any attention, but pulling this out to open a box at uni is bound to draw looks. But through my ever-changing set of pocket stuffing, one item has always stayed with me. My Victorinox Swiss card. This thing has lived in my wallet for over 11 years now. That's half my life, and has proven useful on countless occasions during that time. Perfection. Or almost. While the Swiss card has covered almost everything I need it for, it also has plenty of items that I have never used on it, like the toothpick and nail file. There were other tools I would prefer in their place, but for most of that time, I had no way to make these changes. Not until... 3D printing. <laughs> yeah. Before ever making printing videos for this channel, I got my first Ender 3 for one reason. To prototype my own multi-tool. Details not important, I'll talk about it another time I'm sure, but I spent a considerable amount of time prototyping my ultimate survival multi-tool. Look, I got the quotes and everything. But this was early 2020, and uh, we all know how that went, so I took a different path. In the early days of the channel, I made a few more of these wallet tools, ranging from not bad to downright terrible. Current me is shocked that previous me not only published this, but was proud of it. Wanting to improve and also fix the issues I mentioned with the Swiss card, I got to work brainstorming a list of possible tools. There were some clear improvements I had in mind, so once I was done sketching my ideas out, I got to work prototyping. Yeah, I spent some time on this, but I think it's worth it. Where to even begin on what's changed? Well, for starters, listen to this. Here's the old... And here's the new. In total, there are seven unique tools packed into this little rectangle. These include a ruler, a flathead screwdriver, a phone stand, a pen, tweezers, a knife, a pin, and an SD card tray or a key. Notice I'm not claiming this assembly on the top as a tool. This whole part comes from one of those cheapo card tools which are overall pretty useless in my opinion. However, I did find myself carrying one just as a way to tighten tripods, so I included it for this purpose. The ruler is also pretty useful, but this knife is so soft and blunt I'd be lying if I said it was useful. Other tools of interest include the phone stand, which uses a standard card to give your phone a nice viewing angle while out and about. There are also versions of the card without the phone stand since I don't really like how it looks. The tweezers and pen both come from the Swiss card, but you could purchase them individually as replacement parts. Previously, I used this knife. It's a nice shape and has some extra functionality, but took up too much room and was hard to source, since it had no brand. The new version uses a craft knife blade with a printed handle. In contrast to the previous knife, these blades are about as easy to find as it gets. The knife ejects from the side of the card, which not only gives the handle a more comfortable shape, but allows the knife to be removed without having to take the card out of the wallet. A button on the top of the card ejects either an SD card or a key. For some reason, I always used to be against the idea of screwing two halves together, but 
I tried it here and it's clearly the superior option. It's stronger, allows for more complex designs and more customizability. Orange and white is what I started with to fit the channel, but I found green and red to be my favourite combination overall. The models without the phone stand have enough unused room to include a symbol on the top right of the card, but if you want the phone stand feature, sadly there's no room for this. Overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Total cost is just 25 Australian, most of which comes from the Swiss card parts. Parts and a bill of materials are in the description. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks, as always, for watching.